Hi, I'm Christian, and in this final Windows 7 video, we're going to take a look at uh, the new operating system's security options. So if you navigate to the uh, control panel and select uh, system and security, this is your new area for those options. So this includes now Windows Update, uh, your backup and restore, and of course the Windows Firewall will be used to all those things uh, in Windows uh, Vista, but you now have the Action Center. So as I showed you in the previous uh, video, you get notifications in the notification area down here, uh, and that relates to uh, Action Center instructions, and you just head there to to action those. So at the moment, it's the antivirus protection that it's prompting me, and you can uh, find a program online using that link, or simply just install uh, anything that you've bought yourself. But what's really new in the... Uh, Action Center areas, of course, changing user account control. Now, user account control does still exist in Windows 7. It was uh, one of those things in Windows Vista that got a lot of attention, being quite annoying uh, with constant pop-ups, and that has been changed uh, in Windows 7. So if you click on this bit here, the new uh, sort of notification shield is a, a yellow and blue uh, sort of icon. And as you can see under the new user account settings, you actually have a simple sliding scale of what you actually want done. And the default was this level 3, uh, so this only notifies you when programmed to try to make changes to the computer. So this won't constantly bother you, you can actually even lower it even further. So this simply notifies you uh, when programs try to make changes to the computer, um, so it doesn't uh, dim the desktop, that's, that's the option for that one. Uh, and Below that, you get rid of uh, notifications altogether, or there's always notify up there. So it's a simple sliding scale of four options. You no longer need to worry about the, the annoyance that was user account control in Windows Vista. Now, depending on what version of uh, Windows 7 you get, you may have BitLocker encryption, which you get on the uh, Ultimate Edition, so that would be uh, found there as well. And one of the things we like uh, in this new control panel area of system and security is these uh, yellow and blue shield icons. They sort of identify areas where you can change uh, uh, interesting settings, that, things that relate to security, and then they make things easier to find as well. And so there's a quick link to uh, the device manager there, um, which is exactly the same layout as you're used to in XP and Vista. It it's, uh, still hasn't changed and works in the same way. And again, Windows Update is uh, much like uh, you'll be used to in, in Vista, although it has had a bit of a refresh and does give you the option between important uh, updates and optional updates, so we just choose those. It'll actually give you more information now about what the update includes, and you can actually then tab between the important ones and the optional ones, which of course can relate to other things. Here we are, there's actually a Dell monitor one, uh, and an Intel, that's the uh, Gigabit, that's the Ethernet controller. So between those two, you can actually work out uh, what these are, and it does give you a bit more information. You, you'll notice the ones from Microsoft actually do will you know, give you more of a description. So it's the same kind of thing with Vista, but it, it does give you a bit more info, uh, and it has had a bit of a, a nice refresh there, makes it quite simple. And the icons will change depending on your status, so once you install it, it'll go green, and it'll say you're up to date uh, with the latest Windows 7 and third-party uh, updates that are available for your new Windows 7 system.